Hi, this is Megan Renoel from the Nerds and Babeland blog. Um, today I'm here to kind of give a quick tutorial on how I made my steampunk hair. Um, I have worn this to World Steam Expo um, in May in, down in Dearborn, Michigan, and then I also wore it to Gen Con in Indianapolis. Um, I wear I have a steampunk persona. Uh, first Officer Megra, who is also kind of everything else for the ship. She found her ship, the Stargazer, and she built it back up, she fixed it and everything, but she doesn't actually know how to fly it. Weird, I know, but that's where Captain Dylan comes in, um, who, is, who is my friend, who also went with me to World Steam Expo. Um, so I have, this is my steampunk here, I have two different things in it. I have dreads, dreadlocks, this isn't my actual hair, but you can use it, and then I have crinoline. So what you can do is, um, there's a couple different sites you can get it from. I got mine from ikickshins.net, but you can also get it from dreaded apparel, which is um, october.etsy.com. I will post the links below, so don't worry. Um, what I have is actually... Two different colored dreads, and these are actually double-ended dreads. So I have blue, and then I have blonde because I'm a natural blonde. Um, and I was kind of going for a blue and silver kind of theme with my character. Um, so I also have I have blue and silver crinoline, and I have gold crinoline. Uh, the crinoline you can get pre-cut or it comes in a, two, um, a bag. I got mine a bag of 10 yards each and then I just cut them. Um, as you can see, this is one of them. I have my dreads and my crin. Um, you'll also need, obviously, a ponytail. That's how I use mine if you know, don't want to put it in your hair. Um, and then I also have some stretchy clear cord to wrap the crin and dreads with. As you see right here is I folded them in half and I tied them together and I tied them to the ponytail. This has gotten a lot of use so this is actually very stretched out. Um, and then I did the same with the crin. This I think I have many tubes it just, it stretches, it's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. So, I mean, it stretches, it gets thin, so you could put so many in one thing. I believe I put three separate pieces, fold them in half, tied them just like I did the dreads, and then tied them onto the ponytail. Um, as you see, I've also added, I have some steampunk goggles that I have added. Um, I also have a hat, it's a top hat. Um, but this is how I wear it. Um, usually how I wear it is, this is just one ponytail. See, it's just attached. Mm -hmm. Just attached by a ponytail. My real hair is right here, underneath. You see, I'm blonde. Um, but you can also wear it in pigtails, as I often did. Um, what you'll also need, if you're going to do that, depending on the thickness of your hair, my hair is pretty thin, so I also had to have bobby pins um, to help hold it in my hair and just put it up. Um, I don't need them right now because my ponytail is pretty high up on my head so it will support the weight. Depending on how much you put on each ponytail it can get pretty pretty weighty and pretty hefty. So um, what you start with is just a regular ponytail. So here we have just my normal hair. I've put it up into a high ponytail. As you can see it's up here. I have very long hair. Um, so, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of hair you have, you just need to be able to put it in a small bun or a small ponytail so you can attach there. Um, so what you do is, well, what I do is I like my dreads up front, so I will pull it. So I have, I have three separate things up here, two things of crimp, and I will pull it so I have the dreads up front, and then you're going to turn it. And what you can do is you're going to... Hang on to your um, What you can do is you're going to hold on to your ponytail and you're going to put it right up against the ponytail. Just like that. 
and you pull it tight and then you can just start to wrap it around like you're putting your hair in a ponytail. Just, you know. So then, do that. And you're going to want to get it tight so you can, this is obviously not tight. If my cat would let go. And then what you'll do is flip it. So then your dreads will be up front. You can see. And then this is obviously just going to slip out because I didn't do it very tight. And I will usually add my steampunk goggles last. Um, mine has a buckle, leather straps, so I can just undo them and then I will add them last. But if I were to not have this in, I could just pop it right on my head. Just like that. So how I usually wear it is I will wear this in public. I will go out with this or the ponytails and the steampunk goggles in public. Here goes cap. Um, and I usually just wear it in one ponytail. This is how I wear it. I just have a few few dreads over my shoulder. Crin likes to pop up. Doesn't matter. I wore it to a work meeting too, so I am not, you know, you can wear this anywhere. It doesn't have to be at a convention or an expo or something. You know, wear it out in public. I love it. You get, you know, you get people staring, but I did have people come up and they loved it. They loved the goggles. They loved the hair. Obviously. Um... So, you know, I just wear it like this. I usually, I have some bangs hanging down. I uh, usually don't have to. I usually don't, I usually just pull it all up, but today I decided to get fancy. I even have a little rose that I'm actually going to pull out. It's actually, um, it's a leather rose, actually, and it has a scent in it, as you see. I got it from Renaissance Festival. So that is just, you know, a quick tutorial how I do my hair. That's just one way you can add a little pop to your steampunk. Don't be afraid of color with steampunk. It's not all browns and whites and blacks. Add color. So yeah, uh, I'm Megar Noel, and that was my quick little steampunk thing.